What's going on you guys? Destiny Ghost 14 here back with another video and today as you can see I'm here on my Xbox One console like I said in my test vlog because I tested out that video editor. Great console, big thumbs up. So Major Nelson if you see this, I love you, I love Xbox, big fan, better than PlayStation. I used to like PlayStation more than Xbox and I'm starting to like it again but you're probably wondering why I'm doing it. It's pretty obvious because you can see it. Technically three times. Once right there, once right there, once right there. Today I will be reviewing Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Great game. Exclusively on Xbox One since the original. I love this game. I've been a big fan. This is the reason why I got an Xbox because my dad showed me this game and I've been in love with it ever since. You know what I mean. I don't you, I don't mean it like that. So for all you douchebags that like to take things seriously in a sarcastic douchebaggy way, then that's not what I meant. But yeah, this is the Gears of War Ultimate Edition re fully remastered in 1080p at 60 frames per second. Great way to bring back the franchise until Gears of War 4 comes out, because why wait two years just to get that new game that you really want? I mean, come on, you know. So it has some nice detailed pictures on the back. In fact, I'll read them right now. So experience one of gaming's most celebrated sagas. The shooter that defined the first generation of HD gaming is rebuilt for Xbox One and loaded with new content, which is true. Regeared for new generation, the first at its best. The landmark original remastered at 1080p with five additional campaign chapters, not acts where it's like several chapters in one little like chapter. Like, you know how it says act one? It doesn't mean like that kind of chapter. But yeah, with five new cha five additional campaign chapters never released on the console. And those five additional campaign chapters are were actually PC exclusive because, you know, Microsoft owns PCs, not Macs. And so Gears of War was also available on e Xbox 360 and PC. And there was five chapters in the PC version that weren't available on Xbox 360, but now are available. Genre defining multiplayer. Online's most of a serial shooter returns 60 frames per second, 19 maps and 6 game modes, including Team Deathmatch. I like that they did that because what's funny is that, you know the, if you know not much of a Gears fan, but you are, but you don't know all the game modes, there's this game mode called Execution, where you get one life each round to kill off the entire team, but you know Team Deathmatch, you get several lives, then you kill them. What's weird is that they added it, but more play people are playing in the execution mode now than they are Team Deathmatch. And I'm like, I don't get it. <coughs> Calm down. Sorry, if you heard that, those were my dogs. They're just playing around. Calm down. Calm down. They always mess around. Calm down. Come on. Calm down. Yeah, so enough about that. My dogs are getting in the way of my video. How dare you? How dare you? But yeah, let's, enough about this. Let's review the game, show you some detail, maybe a couple campaign chapters. Let's go from there. Alright guys, um, I am back. I'm doing some social match, team deathmatch on Gold Rush map. If you remember this map, it's from Gears War 2. Big throwback. I didn't realize this was from Gears 2 until like a little, like a month or so before it came out. Because when I first played it in the beta, like, I didn't really like it because I thought it was a new map. But I knew it was fully remastered. It was, like, all the original crap, but... Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm not very good at this game. I used to be, like, one of the, like, rookie pro players, I guess you say. Because I would, when I first started getting really into Gears, I would constantly play this game. Like, I would play it 24-7. Because when I first got my Xbox 360 for Christmas in 2012, it, it, I just played it constantly. Yeah! Chainsaws! As you can see, I'm Damon Baird with the animated motion skins, which Baird's my favorite character. If you guys are some Gears fans, 
please let me know down in the comments what your favorite Gears character is. Wow, Karma. That's what I think. Yeah, I'm gonna play till this match ends. And for anyone that is watching, like I keep saying, um, I will be doing more Gears of War Ultimate Edition videos. If you guys want me to play any of the other Gears, like the original from the Xbox 360, um, Gears of War 1, 2, 3, or Gears of War Judgment, like I said, please let me know down in the comments. Wow, melee with a giant boom shot. As you can see, I got three kills. I got the most kills I had anybody. For as bad as I am. No! No one better get more kills than me. Just end the round faster, please. It's just up to this rice and beans guy here. Yep, still... I do love Gears of War, it's my favorite game of all time, I always, will always say that. I think it's better than Halo. I think it's better than any game, really. just standing there. If you guys like the Gears of War series, click like. If you like Xbox better than PlayStation, click like. If you think PlayStation better than Xbox, comment. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that small, kind of boring review of Gears of War Ultimate Edition. I would say it's very fun. I like it very, very much. There's nothing wrong with this game. Except, like, some little bugs that are going on with the multiplayer, with the servers. Nothing. Other than that, the game is amazing. 5 out of 5 stars, 10 out of 10. Everything like that. Everything that goes to the max. 10 billion, 10 million, 10 trillion. I really don't care... I love this game, as you can tell. I have all the Gears of Wars. My collection is complete. Gears of War, Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, Gears of War Judgment, and Gears of War Ultimate Edition. I got all of them. I have two copies of Gears of War 1. Actually, three if you count the remastered. I have it on disc and on digital, and then I have the remastered on disc. Then I have two copies of Gears 2, the special edition, and then on just another disc. And then I have one copy of of three and two copies of Judgment, but yeah, I love this series, I've been a big fan of it since 2010, I know some Gears, I know some more Cog, I know some more Gears that are probably been playing this since 2006, which is when the original came out, so that are more bigger fans than I am, but I, I've been a big fan of Gears of War since 2010, no doubt about it, I just, I love this series, there's no other series that will take over this. 
there, really, it, I would even, yeah, I think it's better than Call of Duty, Halo, all those other shooters, they're, it, they're nothing compared to this. I, I don't care what you say, if you want to give me crap, give me crap down in the comments, I don't care. I love this game, there's nothing bad with this game, it's what I live, it's what I breathe. Yeah, that's really it. So, yeah, thank you for watching my Gears of War Ultimate Edition review for exclusively on the Xbox One. Only on the Xbox One, however you want to put it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with friends, and I'll see you guys later. Rock!